the Lord is very good and he is good all the time the Lord is faithful his mercy endures forever and his son Jesus Christ is coming again so today I'm very thankful for the goodness of God though um, it has been about uh, five months now that uh, we have been sheltering at home with occasional driving out going to the grocery stores and uh, getting uh, uh, to refill the water for the family but I'm still grateful though here in California we are uh, reported as the highest uh, with uh, new cases and coronavirus still very grateful it's uh, moderately warm there are times when it's going to be uh, quite hot here like yesterday and it's been good to me in my um, and my journey so far is um, here with me my baby pandemic baby say hi baby the Lord has been very good in spite of the fact that uh, uh, I have gone through also a lot of uh, challenges and trials in life and especially now that there is this uh, ongoing pandemic it had destroyed my own uh, desire to do my ministry what I mean my desire to build uh, my own ministry but still hanging in there um, um, friends lost many uh, many things as well lost their job lost uh, livelihoods some of them lost their lives but God is still and all I can say is the miracle of life still continues even amidst this uh, confusing times confusing and uh, very dangerous times as well very very dangerous and I was just asking myself people nowadays are so confused they don't know where to go for comfort and for uh, inspiration and for for you know relief not only financial relief that is number one number two from their emotional relief number three from um, from the uh, the heavy feeling that they are being bounded against their will to stay at home and you know to to uh, do their to do their their best in their work and in their purpose in their lives you know they are they're just they're just tied up people are tied up and it seems that many Christians many of them are so confused that sometimes they they see things differently and they see the Bible differently as um, apart from you know this is a uh, revelation from uh, Jesus Christ so I'm here um, I don't know what to say I'm here to uh, just encourage you or and even myself that there is proof that God is a good God and is a faithful God and his son is coming again soon this will be over 
and that's what I'm trying to send I'm trying to send a message that we can find comfort knowing that Christ dwells in the hearts of those who open their hearts to his knocking and his fellowship the Holy Ghost will come and enter our hearts if we allow him to enter our hearts to uh, fellowship with him and so and to maintain and and converse with him in a loving relationship so my, my proof of life is this baby her name is Julia she was born here in California not so long ago five months just before the the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, you know was declared a global health crisis she is the proof that the Lord is indeed very good I have been wanting to have my own uh, child for a long long time and God God allowed me to experience that even in a late bloomer so to speak <laughs> a late stage of my life so she will be 10 years old and I'll be probably a senior citizen by that time I don't know what the future install but I told the Lord that she will be homeschooled and hopefully she will be able to be used by God for his service she's dedicated to the Lord and uh, she is um, she's just a healthy baby and he is good all the time right baby he's only five months old and we are at the midday on the midday not too much we've been staying indoors for a while and we wanted to go to the to the national parks or to parks that are open but they are not open for now so we are just stuck at home for now just going to the local parks proof of life baby smile <laughs> the Lord is still looking out for his people so I I was just wondering how could other faithful Christians uh, survive this and how could they continue uh, maintaining their faith I'm just praying that they can continue their faith and that uh, they can continue um, serving the Lord in whatever they can so the fact that I'm standing the fact that I'm still alive reminds us that God is still in control though the enemy of God wanted to discourage and destroy and probably bring death to us the Lord is still good say hi baby <laughs> I'm grateful to the Lord for the blessings. I could still eat once or twice a day, still drink water. And if you could, if you're here in California, there's there's just no rain. It's summer, there's just no rain. I don't know if it will continue until fall or winter, but every drop of water is a proof that God is still feeding us. God is still God is still taking care of us until that water will be gone. <laughs> until that uh, last drop of water. So today, as long as there is water on the tap and we can drink, praise God. About the uh, money that 
proof that God is still working is he he still provides in un, unexpected situation God still sends some um, help through other people and through other means so I'm still I'm grateful and to me that's a proof that God is still looking out for looking out for you know for all of us who believes in him who keep his commandments who believes in his son Jesus Christ the divine Lord who is coming again so let us not be discouraged let us not hold down our guard and be watchful and vigilant the enemy is like a roaring lion the Lord is at hand the fact that he gave me this beautiful baby is a sign that there is life in this dark dark world there's life in this dangerous world okay I think the baby needs to drink her milk I don't have it so I have to go to her mom okay so the Lord is coming very soon I believe it with all my heart it's what the Bible says and uh, it's plain no complications very simple there is no need to exegete or use uh, extra biblical sources the Bible says he will Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God will come again he will come again so um, I hope and pray that that is our our prayer as well for today and that is our hope in this time of uh, uh, I would say in this time of soul searching and, and uh, a time to call for true repentance time to call for for us to really examine ourselves if we are true to God or if we are just deceiving ourselves if we are honest with ourselves and we are um, if we are faithful as well he has been faithful and he has been good and he's coming very soon so may God continue to bless you and hopefully you will stay in faith the proof is that you're still alive listening to me today and we must be grateful to the Lord